Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Hello! I'm, <laughs> I'm your friendly neighborhood poker prof, that is Kitty, and this is Link. You know what? Hmm. Link, he come to town. He come to save the Princess Zelda. No, he came to take a nap. Yeah, that too. And just <laughs> to stop any argument with that, that song is not from System of a Down. Wait, what the hell? What? What brought that on? Everyone always claims that that song is from a group known as System of a Down, and it, I it is not. I have never heard that before. Every time you look up that song, it says, hey, this is done by System of a Down. It's not. I don't remember who it is, and I'll pop it up here uh, just to make sure people know, but it is not from System of a Down. Oh, I'm glad you'll get that cleared up because I've never heard anything about it being System of a Down. Mm -hmm. I've heard their music before. That is not them. Yeah, but we are now here in the pipe maze and we're fighting some new enemies. It's a fireball. Wait, it's a dead fireball. Now nah, we make it a Nash ball. Mm -hmm. What's really cool is that they actually prevent you from burning your butt here because you actually can burn your butt here. Knocks you all the way back here. Yeah, I hate that. That's not thing. I don't even think it does damage. No, but it's a pain in the ass. True. Literally. We also have old school Goombas here, which are pretty much the Goombas back from frickin' uh, Mushroom Way. As you can see, they kind of don't matter anymore at all. Well, they're Goombas. They're the weakest enemy in the Mario franchise. Oh, oh, I want to show this. You wanted to show off, you getting stomped. <laughs> I should say thwomped. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's I always just love that. It's just you get to see just how much humor in it is in this game. It is hilarious. So let us continue onward, not get thwomped again. And another new enemy, the Piranha Plant. Piranha Plants are pretty weak overall from what my memory serves me correctly, but I believe they're actually immune to fire. Now, that's one thing I'm actually going to be including in my little bios that I'm going to be putting up, because it's going to be Future Prof that does all the editing for this. You know, thank you, future prof. But, uh, essentially I'm going to be putting in all the little bios that says, hey, this enemy is weak to this, or it is resistant to that. Because there are... Uh, just, just out of curiosity, those last pipes you went through with the piranha plants, aren't you supposed to be able to go down one of them after defeating one of them? I am don't think so. Let's actually double check. Um, actually, because I don't want to go... Oh, no, there you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. This is actually one thing I was trying to look for. This, yeah, I told you. This is actually the Goomba Thumping minigame. You can actually earn a good chunk of rewards from this, I believe, including some fro uh, frog coins and flower tabs, if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, just for the sake of it, what sort of the rules? Thump a Goomba, get a point. Thump a Spiky, lose one point. Go Gold Goombas are three points. If you get more than 20 points, you get a prize. All right, let's do this. All right, ready, go. I always go. have trouble with this. Three point. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah. Yeah, it's not yeah. exactly easy. No, it's not. Just trying to actually gauge the jumps right is a pain in the ass to do yeah, the just a little bit. You gotta jump a little bit lighter than you actually think you gotta do. Also, get used to hearing this music if you do some of the mini games here. You know, this is actually what I eventually start doing is I just kind of do this. Thirteen points. All right, so uh, let's try. You're it. shy seven points. Yeah, let's try it again. Cause we got coins to spare right now. So what I usually do is I will go and just jump on one in particular and just... F and just not move when you see the spikies. Yeah. 
It, or just get off as soon as I see the spikies. Now, if you're lucky, you'll get some good. You'll get constant Goombas. And you're, you're very lucky you get a golden Goomba every once in a while. Ah, son of a. Golden. So I said just don't move. Sorry, I'm trying to. It's force of habit at this point. Son of a... Come on. 20. No! Oh, no! no! <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was habit. Habit. All right, one more time. I got it this time. Got to get it at least once. Got to get it at least once. Damn it. Alright, let's just do my strategy. Goomba. 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 Spiky! Goomba. Goomba. Spiky! <laughs> as you can see, it's not as easy as you think sometimes. Son of a bitch, come on. Ah, oh, you cheap oh. mother! Oh. <laughs> the thing is, hon, if you just stand still and not move when you see the spikes come up, they won't hurt you. I know, it's more reflex. I'm always trying to jump to make sure I get at least one. Like, wait All till right. they come up completely before you make the decision to jump. Right. Because they actually stay long enough for you to do that. Huh? It's reflex, though, like I said. Oh, man, if I'm having trouble with this minigame, I fear for the Koopa minigame. You see two more? Yay! Hey, get off! Get off! No, we're, we're good. There we go. Give me my frickin' reward. Flower tab. Flower tab. I'm not going through the rest of that. We put people <laughs> through enough torture. Well, at least now you know it's there. Yes, and there's more rewards other than that flower tab. And who reminded you? Uh-huh. Yes, sweetie, we know. <laughs> I don't remember a whole ton of the secrets in the game, but I do remember a few of them. Mm-hmm. It's been such a long time since I played it. Well, that's what a good game will do is it'll keep you remembering everything. Uh-huh. Jesus. And scarecrow. Pop. I forget, Scarecrows can still cast magic, can't they? Yeah, they just can't physically attack, which, for depending on how you level up your characters and set them up stat-wise, that's actually pretty good for some characters. It's like, usually how I level up Malo and Gino, they are all magic, so making it so they can only cast magic, hey, that's no problem for me. Ugh, this is the one that's annoying, the pollen nap. Because essentially, Gino is now asleep until he wakes up. Which usually... Yeah, it usually works. Well, yeah, but what I meant is that he either has to get attacked, or uh, he just wakes up naturally. Pop. I forgot how Pop. durable these guys were. And Gino's actually taking a lot of damage simply because, unlike Mario and Malo, he doesn't he have no any. Armor. Yeah. There we go. Actually, let's go and heal up Gino. Thank you. This should be it. If I actually did the time hit right, 
Gino's one of those characters who's actually pretty hard to do the time hits with. I don't think there is. Yeah, you, no, don't you go can't down. go down there. Yeah. Oh, oh you! Oh god! Damn. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. I don't remember that shy guy. I'll have to look him up and put info about him because I don't remember that shy guy at all. Future Prof, tell us what the hell that was. Uh huh. Heck, if you need to, Future Prof, go ahead and just even stop the episode right there and go, okay, this is what he is, what he does, what's going on with him. Because I have never seen that guy before. The elusive golden shy guy. <laughs> Now, don't touch those guys! They're instant death in normal Mario games. In this Mario game, they make you lose your coins. Oh, I was away from you, you stupid... No, you were hanging off the edge of the block, man, so that's what you need to get. Thankfully, these are e easy enemies compared to the piranha plants. But still, that's more than a little annoying. But after this, uh, we pr we will not see Goombas pretty much for the rest of the game, as far as, like, legit enemies. So, should I show off this guy stealing our coins, or no? No, we no. need our coins. We need our coins. I might show it off here anyway for... <laughs> oh, I am not going to go further on that chest. No, it's just coins. Screw that. But there... Is, is there actually a secret here? Yes, there is! Front coin. A safe point right here, but the main reason we're here. Welcome. Yoshi Island. To Yoshi's Island. Oh, that's right. You can't even understand any of the Yoshis until so you talk to our friend Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi. Uh, Yoshi are, are you blind, Yoshi? Why are you facing the other way, Yoshi? <laughs> Yoshi, I, I just want to talk to you. Yoshi, I'm here! I'm here for you, pal! Why can't you talk to me correctly? Why? <laughs> Sorry, I would just want to be able to... I would go save before racing. Really? Alright, well, in that case, I gotta get off Yoshi. Uh, let's see. Because the first couple of times I tried the, the race bit, I couldn't get the timing right. Uh, I've always been able to do it right, so let's go ahead... And yes, I'm making multiple saves, so just in case a recording screws up, we have a save state little thing so it can go right back. Pink Yoshi, yellow Yoshi. Alright, saddle up. Saddle up. Alrighty then, but now we can talk to all the other Yoshis. Racing all my life. Yeah, so basically there's a small problem with the Yoshis right now. That is basically why here is there is a Yoshi here known as Boshi. That would be the blue Yoshi. With sunglasses. Basically, until somebody can beat him in a race, nobody is allowed to race. So kind of sucky. So what we got to do is we got to have Yoshi cookies. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, play Yoshi cookie. That's pretty much what this this instance, in my opinion, was originally a nod to. And you gotta go and race him. Now... I hope your timing's better than mine. Well, uh, the race is always with the music, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah, but even so, you can... So, I, I would... Even being in music, as I am, I could not get the timing right the first, very first time I played through this. Well, you also gotta use the uh, Yoshi cookies to help win your race, too. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. This is how it goes with you eating this. Go, 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 almost there! No! Ta da! First, first try! First frickin' try! Only because you used the cookies. Yeah, but I've always used the cookies. 
I've never used the cookies. Well, maybe that's why you could never win it. Well, I've won it without using cookies, just not on the first go. Oh, okay. I save up my cookies, because you can use them in battle. Too true, too true. Matter of fact, that's the main reason you would want to come here, is actually be able to unlock uh, the ability to get Yoshi cookies. Yoshi cookies are really special items that allow you to actually summon Yoshi in battle. He will go and eat an enemy and will turn that enemy into an item. And you'll also have something important over here later on. Mm -hmm. But for now, we're actually finished with Yoshi's area. And it's actually opened up down here, from south of the pipe vault. That's the main reason we went in here. But now we go into Moleville. And go see the... Mm -hmm. Now, the first thing Just first, past the end. I know, but there's a reason why I went past the end. Because the main reason I went here is because we can now buy new weapons. We get the punch glove, which is basically the upgraded version of Mario's basic punch attack. We have the finger shot, so if you didn't pick it up back in uh, Rose Town, here it is for you now. And my favorite weapon for Malo, the, the symbols. symbols. Crush. We also have the Mega Shirt, a Mega Cape, and Mega Pants, which are pretty, basically the increase in defense from what we had before. But we also have the Work Pants, which, if my memory serves me correctly, increases your offense as well as defense. I'm going to be buying all the basic Mega stuff and the Work stuff just because I don't remember what the Work ones do equip-wise. So let's go ahead and... So we go. Ma Mario goes from uh, 60 up to 74 attack. Malo goes from 59 to 69. And let's go ahead and equip the Mega Cape. Yeah, so... Oh, wow! The Work Pants are actually overall better than the Mega Cape? Really? Yeah, but does that work for all of the characters? It works for every character in the game. I think, though, it eventually gets... Now I remember. The Work Pants is a better item for you for, like, the next t two areas. But then after that, it gets left behind by the shirt pants, cape, so on and so forth. Really, well, if still, you... if they're better now, I would go with that. Mm, yeah. Can you book... I mean, you can equip them on uh, Mauer, Every... too, right? I can equip them on Malo. How Actually, much do work... they cost, though? Hang on. What's going on here? Work pants. Yeah, see, there we go. So it goes... Yeah, no, see, look, there we are. For Malo, it's actually going down. Well, uh, attack and uh, is going up, but yeah, the down. yeah. So I think it's because it's Gino right now because he's like the newest character. Well, it's how just... does it? What does it uh, do for the stats for Mario, though? Yeah, well, let's find out. All right, so Ma the work pants go over here, and for Mario, uh, yeah, everything going down is magic defense. Everything yeah. just goes up. So it's an overall stat boost for a lot of your stats, and overall for uh, for most of your characters at this point of the game, it's going to be better. But yeah, so I, I would say work pants for G for Gino and Mario, but get the mega pants for. Uh, actually, let's uh, see how it compares to the mega shirt, because that's actually Mario's most recent shirt. Fair enough. So yeah, see the oh, defense yeah. goes down. All so right. for it's actually best right now for just for Gino. And pretty much the Mega Cape's useless at this point. Hey, time to make some money selling stuff. Oh yeah, actually we should do that, shouldn't we? Yes. Make some points back. So, because we don't need the hammer anymore, or the knock-knock shell. We should probably get rid of the froggy stick as well. We can't give it back to Frog Fusions, can we? Not really. At least yeah. not storyline-wise, as far as I know. And it's 90 coins, which is nothing to laugh at at this state of the game. And let's get rid of the Mega Cape. Uh, I'm gonna keep the jump shoes. And I think we're what, good. You might have some items to sell too, don't you? Uh, we got a butt ton of mushrooms, that's about it. Alright. Oh, let's also use the flower tab, flower box, up to 42 flower points. 
We're actually over halfway there, be uh, almost halfway there because uh, I think there's only 99 flower points you can get in the game. I mean, there's more than that available, but that's the only as far as you can get. Well, then you can just sell the rest later, I guess. Yep. All right, let's save. All right, all right. Are we wanting to have an episode already? No, I'm just saying save, so in just in case something happens. Okay, okay. Yeesh. How are we on time, by the way? Uh, we're... Uh, we could actually end the episode now if we really want to. It's up to you. That's your call, hon. I'm good either way. Well, you know what? We're actually in Moltown, and this place is going to be a bit long. And we actually spent a little time working on items, so you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, call it here. Okie dokie, then. Alright, so until next time, everyone, we're now officially in Moleville, and we're gonna go and see what problem is going on here. Hint, hint, it's another star piece. <laughs> until then, folks. See you next time!